Hey guys, thank you for watching my video and today I would like to make rice. Some of my subscribers asked how to make a perfect rice. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm gonna make a perfect rice. I'm not confident but um, this is uh, how I make rice when I go cookout or camping. So yeah, let's get started. So I have this 1,100 milliliter pot from Tokes and uh, I'm just gonna use this pot today I've made rice with other pots but I don't know the results are pretty much the same to me so um, but some people say if it's too deep and narrow and uh, the result could be a little off because uh, the rice above here wouldn't cook as much as the bottom but I don't know I didn't have any issue before so I'm gonna use this one today and uh, as a stove I use bush body because this is like the, the cook set that I bring with this pot usually so first thing you want to do the side is actually soak the rice so I already washed the rice and put it in. Now you just want to add water to just soak the rice. So quantity doesn't matter, but I generally put somewhere like this. So you want to soak it for 15 to 30 minutes. And while you're waiting for it, um, I usually like find wood or just process wood to make fire. Let's do that.
Alright, so the fire is ready. So I'm gonna measure the water quantity. So the water quantity, I just go with the, the finger, the first line where the water want to be from the surface of the water, out oh, surface of the rice. So I add a little bit more. Right, it's about right. And now, put the lid on and put it on the fire. And you want to have kind of high heat in the beginning. The heat is aggressive so that the water goes up and push the lid up. That's what you want to see. So till then, you want to have a high heat. I'm going to keep feeding. Okay, it looks ready. Yeah. And after you get this point, you want to lower the heat. Now it's kind of high. So I'm going to take out the wood a little bit. From here, you want to wait for 20 minutes with low heat. Alright, it's been 20 minutes. So what you want to do now is just to put the pot down. Just steam it for around 15 minutes. That's it. So last month, um, my friend gave me a gift, uh, which is this beautiful Atler how do you say? Blow? You blow and then the air comes out um, and it's good for building up the fire. And other one is here. Yeah, so it's Atler with a fire steel and you can strike fire with just this and it it gives a nice strike. It's super nice. So, um, I love this. Like, do you see? It's actually far here. It's so beautiful. And actually, I can just hang it somewhere like this. I usually have bamboo to just blow the fire. And it works well, but. I've never used something like this. It's just thin and the air is kind of concentrated and it's really strong and it really works well. I'm very impressed. I mean, people use something like this, you know, like, but that was the first thing for me to use this. So I was so impressed and, and I'm using Bush Buddy today, um, which is tiny stove. It really works well with something like this small uh, wood burning stove when you put a pot uh, there's not a lot of space to blow air since this is so thin so it can go in or get close to the flame so it's so easy to just manipulate the fire with this which is really nice well thank you so much i really love these so 
and they look cool too so I used Bush Body Ultra today and it's a great stove. I haven't checked the rice yet because it's not 15 minutes yet. I've noticed it's a little hard to keep the flame lower because this stove is super efficient. So as you can see, the flame kind of goes up. It has the like second burning system going on and it's really efficient. It'll give you really strong flame, which is nice. But making a rice, you kind of need to be careful because you need to make the heat lower after you boil it so but we'll see if the result is good then it doesn't really matter i guess but one thing i noticed today so maybe if you want to use bush buddy for cooking rice uh, or when you need low heat i use this size of wood today but actually you can cut it like half half of the size you just add little by little when it goes higher you stop feeding and when it goes low, you feed another piece. And that way I think you can control the heat pretty well. And I will try that next time. If it's long like this, then yeah, it'll give you a big flame. All right, it's been 15 minutes. So let's see how it came out. Hmm, it looks good. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> oh no, I just broke my spoon. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, let's eat. love rice. <laughs> just eating rice is just so good. It's my snack time. Mm. It's perfect to me. Um, sometimes it comes out mushy, but I don't know. The, recently, I've been very successful making rice Maybe because I've been doing this for a while now. Um, but the uh, tips is uh, if you soak the rice in the water too long, it gets mushy. So I usually do 15 minutes and over 30 minutes, I don't know, could be mushy. If you have low heat, you want to keep the heat constantly. Uh, sometimes it could turn off. You want to keep the flame as steady as possible. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, the rice came out well and I hope the video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!